Well over a billion smartphones were sold across the world in 2015. One of the great things about the rush to upsell the last smartphone holdouts and break into emerging markets is that prices are going down. The average selling price declined to less than $300 last year, and it will fall further, according to the IDC. That makes buying a smartphone outright, without being locked into a two-year contract, a realistic possibility for everyone under the sun. Here are a few of our favorite smartphones to be had on the cheap, whether you're an Apple aficionado or one who prefers Microsoft's platform. Apple iPhone SE, $400 plus. Well folks, it happened. An iPhone made it on a best budget phones list. The newly released iPhone SE is Apple's attempt at a more affordable iPhone, and it's obviously the best choice if you're more of an iOS fan than an Android lover. The device doesn't just excel in software, though, it also offers above par hardware. Under the hood you'll find an A9 processor, which just so happens to be Apple's flagship chip, coupled with 2GB of RAM and either 16GB or 64GB of storage. The rear-facing camera is 12 megapixels, and the front-facing is 1.2 megapixels, a little low, to be sure, but Apple products are known for offering a great image quality despite a low megapixel count. All that is housed in a classic iPhone 5-style body. Motorola Moto X Style Pure Edition, $298 plus, Motorola's $400 flagship phone may be the most expensive on our list, but it's a great option for those who can spend a bit more. We do recommend waiting until the 2016 Moto X arrives, rumors point to a launch this summer. The Moto X style delivers all the high-end specs you'd expect to find on a $600 plus phone, but for $200 less. The 5.7-inch screen sports a 2560x 1440 pixel resolution, and it's powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 808 with 3GB of RAM. A 21-megapixel camera sits on the back, and Motorola popped a 5-megapixel cam on the front for selfies. It comes in 16, 32, and 64 GB storage options, all of which have a microSD card slot. A 3000 mAh battery with fast charging rounds out the specs. You can even design your own phone with Moto Maker. OnePlus 3, $400. For Android enthusiasts, the OnePlus 3 may be the most powerful device you can own at this price point. It touts the same Snapdragon 820 processor that you'd find on top-of-the-line smartphones from Samsung, LG, and HTC, and comes with an all-metal body that makes it feel high-end. For only $400, you get a 5.5-inch display with 1920x1080 pixel resolution. It also comes comes with a whopping 6GB of RAM, which certainly makes multitasking easier and future-proofs the device. Thankfully, OnePlus has also gotten rid of the 16 and 32GB storage options, which means you're getting a sizable 64GB of internal storage right out of the box. That's a lot of music and movies. The snippy fingerprint sensor, 16-megapixel rear camera, and 8-megapixel selfie cam are also welcome additions for such an affordable smartphone. High-end is everything the Idol 4s wants to be, and it's exactly how it feels thanks to a 2.5D curved glass back and front. al -Qaeda's latest flagship device may have some oddly placed buttons, but its specs and price make up for them. The smartphone is actually quite similar to the OnePlus 3, particularly when you consider the fingerprint sensor, 5.5-inch display, 3000 mAh battery, 16-megapixel rear camera, 8-megapixel front cam, and its support for microSD cards. But the al qaeda Idol 4s offers higher Quad HD resolution, 3GB of RAM, and 32GB of internal storage. al qaeda has opted for the lower-end Snapdragon 652 processor, unlike the Snapdragon 820 many of its competitors have been deploying, but it should still offer plenty of processing power. The specs are solid for $400, but it's even more impressive once you consider what you get with it. A VR headset, an Incipio case, and a tempered glass screen protector. Better yet, the pre-order lasts until August 3, which means you can snag this device for a mere $350. ZTE is on 7, $400, ZTE has done it again with the Azon 7. This all-metal device borrows a few specs from its predecessor, 
the Azan Pro, such as its 5.5-inch AMOLED display and a 2560x1440 pixel resolution, but it improves on it in almost every other way. You'll find it powered by a quad-core Snapdragon 820 processor with 4GB RAM and a whopping 64GB internal storage. With Micrest card support, however, you'll also be able to upgrade to an additional 128GB of space. The Azan 7's 3140mAh battery should last you a day, and ZTE has gotten rid of the dual camera setup from the Pro and replaced it with a 21MP rear camera and an 8MP selfie one. The company is also touting the phone's audio capabilities, which capitalizes on two front-facing stereo speakers and Dolby Atmos technology. Sure, it is packed with Miflover UI, ZTE's Android skin, but the latest iteration of the software has been toned down. Plus, you're getting all of this for a cool $400.